Okay, this is part three of the Cycle Country plow for the Honda Big Red three-wheeler that I've been making. People were asking for specific measurements, so I'm going to do the best I can to make this as quick as I can. I have it off the bike right now. I have some things taken apart that you can see here. Uh, let's see. First off, I have this off of the plow. If you've watched the one video, it slides in and out of here. I did take it out so you can see this piece of metal here. They have this on the inside of the, like, like this flat piece of metal here is on the inside of this. And what I mean by that is, you go over on this side and look, this is on the inside too, okay, of the tubular metal. Like in other words, if I was sitting on the bike and this was on the bike, this is how it would look right now. The handle being on my left hand because the throttle is with your right thumb. So there you have that. Um, these are the foot peg mounts. Okay, this is how it would be on the bike. Right and left. Those two holes match up with the bolts for the foot peg. So you would just mount that. You'd take your foot peg off. Put this on the bike up against the frame. Mount your foot peg on the outside of it. Slide the two bolts in and bolt it into your frame. And then this, as you can see, I, I put this on the other video, but I didn't really get it this good. Look at that. There's the hole. And where does that hole go? But right here. This would slide. Let me get that. This would slide up in here between these two pieces of metal. Take this cotter pin out of here, slide that out, put it through, and then put the, this piece of metal back through and put the cotter pin through. Okay? Same goes for this side. Now look, this side, when I bought this, this was not taken out like this. I had to cut this out, or rather have my brother-in-law cut this out. I had to indent this. There you can see, not quite an inch. Oh, about five-eighths of an inch. Okay. These foot peg mounts. Let's see here. They are... Oh, trying to do this with one hand here. But as you can see, ten and... What's that? Ten and five-eighths inches? Yeah. Ten and five-eighths. Long. Okay. The holes are different on both of them. You have to measure your foot pegs, but roughly from center to center is about four and a half inches on the right one, on the left one. Oop. About, let me do it this way, from center to center, oh, about three and three-eighths, looks like. Roughly. Okay, yeah. About three and three eighths. The foot peg mount is the same length, ten and it's it's not it's about ten and maybe five eighths, yeah. So for this now oh let's see. At its widest point let's see. Forgive me here folks, I'm trying to do this. Trying to do a three-handed job with two hands. But it's about 28 and 38 inches wide. In the center, at its widest point. Oh, jeez. Wish I had a yardstick right now. That would be a heck of a lot better, but... Is what it is, as a friend of mine likes to say. At its widest point, the inside is 25 inches, like almost exactly 25 inches from this widest point. How long is this hole? No, oh, from, jeez, oh, it'd be nice if I had a cameraman to work the camera for me, and I could use both hands to measure, but what can you do? Oh, it's about... 28 inches inside, okay? 
at its thinnest point. At its thinnest point, the this thing is uh, 22 inches, roughly about. Okay. The tubular metal that they used is different thicknesses at, at different spots too. As you can see here, it's one and three quarter inch tubular metal here. For the outside of this pipe, it's one and three quarter. But for the inside here, it's only what? One and oh, what is that? One, two, three eighths? Yeah, one and three eighths. So the slide I showed you on the other video, it slides in here. Then they attach this thing This piece of metal sticks out from the end. What is that? An inch and, you know, one and uh, three quarter inches. It sticks out there. The hole, that, that hole really doesn't matter. I don't even know why they mounted it. I guess in case you had a different way you wanted to mount the chain. But then don't forget to extend this out another inch you know, to put your bolt through there to mount it up. Oh, let's see. Your handle. Your handle is uh, 28 inches long, roughly. 28 inches long. Sticks out. This little thingy here Look what they did here. Showed this, but not quite as in detail on the other one. Look at that. And then this little piece of metal here follows it down, and all it does is stick through there. Okay, and they put like a little wash on the end here so it doesn't come off. Let me go around the other side. They welded this. Now I know why no one's ever done this on YouTube before. <laughs> it's not as easy as you think. They welded this little end on here, put this, slipped this piece of metal on here. This metal that they used, by the way, while I'm measuring, is, oh, 3 16th metal. Just flat pieces of metal. How long are these pieces? It's 316 thickness. You can use whatever you want, I suppose, but... This first piece here... Look at this. Okay? It's... About 8 inches long. Uh, almost exactly 8 inches. These pieces, these two... These two... Hmm... Oh, this is not as easy as it looks. 7 inches. Okay, seven inches. They also had to weld this onto this piece uh, of metal on the bottom frame that you can see here. Just a hunk of metal, a piece of flat metal. They welded on, drilled a hole through it so they could mount these two. And, and look at that. I just did it. Again, I pull up. Just You just need the little littlest bit of pressure here to do this and watch. Pull up. And it goes forward. Notice how I, I put this in the other video, how that's round. Okay? It's 8 inches or whatever I said it was at its widest point, at its longest point. But it doesn't have to be rounded off. That little piece of metal there on the back of these to stop this. Look at that. There's another hole there. I didn't even take notice to that. I guess to adjust it if it, you know, for the right length. Now, the middle of this bolt back to where this is as you can see is all oh, about seven and a quarter inches to the center of that piece of tube there see that oh boy i hope this is going to help people <laughs> oh let's see from there up to this right here 
boy, this is a 10 minute video already. This is going to take forever to upload to YouTube, but, well, whatever. Nine inches. Okay. Nine inches. Up. The hole. I said this piece of metal is eight inches, but the hole is about an inch and a half back from the end of this piece of metal. Over the center of this hole is about an inch and a half. Oh, this hole here is about an inch and a half down from the end to here, the whole hole that they drilled for this little, you know, thin piece of metal here. Uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, who knows? There probably end up being a part four of this because <laughs> I'm sure I'll get questions. And, well, now it's going on 11 minutes, so this is going to take absolutely forever to upload to YouTube. And I don't mind, you know, while it's still summer and you people want to try to fabricate one of these things, go, you know, go right ahead and ask questions. I'll do my best to answer any of them. If you think of anything, well, what the heck, I'll end up making a part four, who knows. If not, though, I hope you enjoy this. I hope these three video, these three walk-around videos that I've done help for you to fabricate yourself a, a plow setup. Hope you enjoy this.